high above the ground, much higher than those skyscrapers, something remarkable is about to take shape. A space station, a private one at that, with the potential to change how we live here on Earth. Inside the Moonshot Museum, it's part space exhibit, part working lab. You're looking at the Peregrine Lander, which took years to develop. A team from Astrobotic is putting the finishing touches on the lander, which is set to launch in May and land on the moon a few weeks later. You might think this is happening in a state with a strong aerospace presence. We think space, so you got to go to Florida, Colorado, California, Houston, Texas, etc. Those are all great space hubs. But this is not any of those places. This is happening in Pittsburgh. This region has never really been known as a space region, and the Keystone Space Collaborative was built to change that. Justine Kashnitsa chairs the Keystone Space Collaborative. It involves three states, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. Not your usual space hubs, but the Collaborative's latest effort could be game-changing, the construction of a private space station from Sierra Space. So it's called the Orbital Reef. Uh, we're partnering with Blue Origin on that and several other teammates. Uh, there's obviously a lot of commercial space stations being built because right now, as I think most people know, that the International Space Station is nearing the end of its life. Uh, 2030 is probably going to be the end and we need a transition. That's where the orbital reef comes in. Sierra Space shared this animation of it, which shows what it will look like, a potential improvement over the cramped environment of the current International Space Station. Jonathan Volk is senior manager of in-space manufacturing and advanced materials for Sierra Space. So hopefully all our will be a little more neater, but also uh, have the opportunity for much better living quarters for obviously astronauts that are there. But we're also looking to have potentially uh, tourists and the actual scientists who do the research and want to actually take their project and, and uh, do that uh, research in space. It's a commercial turn for the concept of a space station, which until now had only been in the wheelhouse of major governments. So we'd like to get to the point where you, know, you don't have to be a professionally trained astronaut or a billionaire to get there. We want to make space more accessible. Including for manufacturing, which, when done in the weightlessness of space, could lead to improvements back here on Earth, where gravity can sometimes interfere. You can make potentially better materials that could be used on Earth. And we're talking things like uh, better pharmaceuticals, better semiconductor materials, better plastics, better composites, better ceramics. Which is why the Keystone Space Collaborative considers this work so crucial, a potential boost for this area where steel manufacturing once ruled. We really are making a push uh, to put space on the map for this region as an economic development enabler. We believe is going to drive very well-paying jobs and activate not just the urban uh, clusters, but also the rural communities. Something that they say could work just about anywhere. You can be anywhere in the country, really think about, hey, how can we grow the space sector uh, in our region? Because far above us, there is space, no matter where you live. Maya Rodriguez, Scripps News, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.